Amy Santiago. Teddy, hey. oh my God. It's been so long. What are you doing here? I'm with the 8-2 now. We're paired with you today. Yeah, quick, 1054-L. Ambulance case, severed limb. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? Uh, Teddy and I met at Code Camp. It was a voluntary refresher course on police codes. Oh. Some long nights of intense memorizing. <laughs> it was pretty dope. Sounds dope. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna go sign in, but we should catch up later. Yeah. Great seeing you. You too. Who's that guy? Uh, that was Teddy. We went on like five dates last year. I liked him, but he was stationed out in Queens, so I never got to see him and sort of fizzled. Right, that's the guy you said the lame stuff about, like he's a good listener. I'm sorry, what do you look for in a guy? I don't know, real stuff. Shape of his ass. Before I forget, try to be in the lobby in about a half an hour. I got you a little surprise. No, your surprises are always terrible. What's going on? You have to tell me. You're gonna love this. Remember how you said that Teddy would never be so romantic as to turn a work trip upstate into a lover's retreat to the country? Oh, no. Oh, yes. I called him before we left. He's on his way here now. Uh, uh you're welcome. Jake, I don't want to see Teddy right now. I'm about to break up with him. Oh, no. When we first started dating, Amy and I found this really nice B&B up in the Poconos. We got that sweet city employee discount. Remember that, babe? Teddy, think fast. Drink menu. Ow. I'm sorry, man. Chuck that right at you. I just thought you really wanted a drink. Oh, I never need a drink menu. I got the thrills for the pills. Because <laughs> I'm a Pilsner man. Oh, I hadn't yeah. heard. That's it. I, I can't stop myself. Jericho, Jericho, Jericho! <laughs> Ow! That's pulling out all the stops? What's going on? I want to break it up. Us. I wanna break us up. Hey folks, welcome to the Maple Drip Inn. Everyone excited to be here? We having a good time? We are not. The main reason you wanna break up with me is the Pilsners? I, I like other drinks. <laughs> it's delicious, I want more. It's not just the Pilsners. There are so many reasons I wanna break up. That sounded bad, didn't it? As a lawyer, it's my duty to tell you to shh. Okay, look, there's just no spark between us. That's vague. Uh, you're boring. Guava juice, mango juice, orange juice, of course, grapefruit juice, and cranberry juice. Jazz brunch sounds insane. But should we talk about how efficient and well-run the 9-9 is for a while? We've got plenty of time for that. I'm gonna hit the little boys' room. When I get back, remind me to tell you all about the omelet bar station. We will. You bet. Spoiler alert, two kinds of bell pepper. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, he's so boring. He's so boring. The most boring man in America. And that's him trying to be interesting. That is spring break, Teddy. How did you ever date him? <sighs> oh no, he has a really big wiener, doesn't he? Wait, don't tell me if that's true, unless it's not. No, but then if you don't say anything, I'll know that it is. Oh, why aren't you saying anything about his wiener, Amy? Jake! Stop, 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 stop! I don't want to hear about your ex's wiener. Just, you're not making me feel better. Why would you do this to me? Jake, stop spiraling! Every time you shake me, I see it flopping around. Stop! Oh, look, there's our gang leader. Seriously? Wow, perfect timing. Successful stakeout. There's no way that Sergeant Boring Big Wiener will shut us down now. Shh, I think I hear Teddy. You didn't answer. I got the old phone stir. I like to go through my contacts while I go pee. So you only need to use one hand. That's great. No, look, we're still recording. Like recording, recording? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is bad. What, what's wrong? Oh my God, I was recording the whole time. We said all that bad stuff. Sorry, I was so preoccupied with the wiener stuff. Oh, this is bad. But while I have you, just stop me. That was fun. We're really good at fake fighting. And you were amazing at coming up with all that stuff to be mad about. Yep, totally. I just said all that stuff to save the precinct and that's all. Oh my God. You don't actually care about my sneakers. No! I care about them deeply. They're all so different. Okay. Hey, guys. It's Teddy from Jazz Brunch. Hey, Teddy. It's Teddy from Jazz Brunch. Why is he here? I don't know, but the fake fight's back on. So shut it, you big mouth bitch and your stupid sneakers. If you don't like my shoes, you can just tell me. Hi. Can I talk to you guys about something? Actually, Teddy, this is not a good time. We're still having a pretty big fight. Well, I think what I'm about to say myself thinks. Amy, I'm still in love with you. What? 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 Uh-oh. A skip is cup scoop. This is super uncomfortable. Jazz. 
Okay, okay, everybody, just calm down and take a deep breath. <sighs> what the hell is going on, man? Yeah, what the hell is going on? You got a girlfriend. I know, and she's fine. Thanks. Sorry, I was really planning on you being in the cab during this. Okay, that wouldn't make it better. Amy, I'm just, I'm not over you yet. And I would have never said anything because I thought you and Jake were happy, but after seeing you at Jazz Brunch, I think I might have been wrong. Don't read into that. Yeah. That was a freak argument. We are very happy. Amy, we have all the same interests. We have so much chemistry. When we're together, it's like no matter where we are, it's San Diego. I feel compelled to tell you that San Diego's terrible. We'll lay it all on the line. Amy Santiago, will you marry me? What? what? Okay, really, could you stay in the cab? I'm sorry, I'll be right there, I promise. Or maybe I won't. What's your answer? Teddy, I don't want to be with you. But you want to be with him? You guys have nothing in common. Oh, yeah? Tell that to William Atherton, the man we both consider to be the second best diehard villain. <gasps> she meant it. And also, yes, we are different people, but I love that about us. I love that Jake's a little messy and that he cares so much about his dumb sneakers and he doesn't get stressed out about calendars. Or flossing my teeth. No, the non-flossing is crazy. Copy that and I love you. I'm just so confused. Your fight was like something out of a movie. Teddy, no. I have to tell you the truth. No, uh, Amy is dying. She has one month to live. Marrying her would be a waste of time. Jake and I were only pretending to fight so that we could destroy your phone. While we were on the stakeout and you were in the bathroom, we said you were the most boring man in America and your phone recorded it. I'm sorry. We didn't want you to get mad at us and fail the precinct. Wow. You guys are the worst. Who would do something like this? Well, I clearly have an arch nemesis. Finally. Must be someone I put away who's hell-bent on revenge. He's probably gonna make me choose between saving the city and saving the woman I love. Little does he know, I can save both. How are you so calm right now? Someone is trying to blow us up. I'm calm because there's not really a bomb. I mean, if you're trying to kill someone, you don't call and give them a heads up. So they're just trying to scare us. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. The bomb squad's on their way. They'll do a quick sweep, find nothing, and split, and this will just become a funny story we work into our vows. Amy, there was a bomb at this wedding. Your butt. Your butt is the bomb. Please don't say that during the ceremony. Is it that you don't like wordplay, or you don't want me to talk about your butt at all, because one of those notes is really going to pull through it? How did this guy even find out about the wedding? the stupid engagement announcement Charles put in the paper. It had the time and location of the ceremony. Amy, be very careful about throwing around accusations like that, because if you're trying to say I somehow ruined Jake's wedding, then I'm gonna kill myself. So tread lightly. Okay, just take it easy, Charles. Nothing is ruined. See, the bomb squad is already here. And they brought a robot. This is exactly how I imagined my wedding would be when I was a kid. Well, well, well. <laughs> Amy Santiago. Amy, look, your ex-boyfriend is here on our wedding day. Why? This is my crew. Yeah, you called me boring, so I leveled up my cool, and now I run the bomb squad. I also started traveling. I went to Belgium. They have the best spaghetti. Teddy, let's get everything out on the table here. Last time we saw you, you kind of proposed to Amy, so you're not still in love with her, right? No, I definitely am. My therapist told me to stop trying to get over it. Oh, weird you wouldn't hide it even for your own pride. But seriously, don't worry. I'm a cop, I have a job to do, and I'm gonna do it professionally. That's great. I'm happy to hear that. Meaning I will be doing a super thorough sweeping of the building. It's gonna take hours, so you should probably just cancel the wedding. Anyway, congrats, you two. Wow, five hours. This is the most exciting contest we've had. Of course, the incident last year was exciting, but we all know how that ended. No, we don't. Right, because of the gag order. Are you sure you want to keep doing this, Rosa? You really don't have to. My feet hurt a little, but I can go as long as it takes. Well, we're having a great time back here. I'll just tell my buddy Reggie here about this great salsa that I make. It's so mild, you barely taste it. That's it. I can't take any more. I'm out. Bye, Reggie. I'll send you that article about mailboxes. Please don't. Oh, my god. Teddy is boring people out of the competition, and he doesn't even realize it. Can't let him get to you, Rosa. It's fine. I can handle boring. We're friends. Ooh, guys, you will never believe who I saw at Bush Gardens last summer. My neighbor. Yeah, just walking around. Rosa, I can't believe you're still here. I can't believe Teddy looks so normal. I'm going to win you that snoop. Slog, snap, whatever. My brain is broken. I haven't slept in 72 hours. You've only been doing the competition for one night. I mean, you're allowed to not sleep for other reasons. Okay. I got you a coffee. Oh, thank you. Just need to put my left hand on the stroller. My right hand grabs the cup. My mouth do the sipping. What's happening? My broken brain won't talk to my body, so I'm doing it. Blink. Rosa, you don't have to do this. You can stop. Snarl at Amy. <sighs> Teddy and I are the only ones left. I'm gonna win this, no matter how much he talks about light rail systems. Ooh, you should ride the one in Akron, by the way. Very little noise. Oh, my God. But enough about light rails. Let's talk trams. I amusement can't, parks I get can't, it. I can't, I can't, more I cities can't, adopted the amusement park <gasps> method. I mean, oh, put your hands over the ears. You kind of just feel like you're having oh, no, fun wait, when you're on a tram. Hands are off. We have a winner. Me? Oh. I'm on the stroller? Woohoo! <laughs> oh, I see what I did wrong. It's okay. Come on, let's get you home. Excuse me. 
Amy, you can have the stroller for the right price. Okay, how much? Amy Santiago, will you marry me? No!